I swear, this game is getting more and more interesting. With every single day, all the stuff I'm reading starts going through. It's like this game just gets <laughs> so much more crazier. And obviously, I wouldn't say much more important in the aspect of... I still will say a million times, this is not a must-win game. But this is a game we must see the offense really get going. Right? Our defense last week looked amazing. They're fine. They're perfect. But this game, we need to see our offense get going. And with the fact they have no Marlon Humphreys, they have no Marcus Williams, you know, they're also without the left tackle in the center. This should be a lot better game for that purpose, right? There was some rain in the forecast based on what I'm not going to rain. I don't know. There's It's back and forth. You already know weather reports. They're never accurate. They're always like, hey, it's going to snow next day. It's 100 degrees and sunny. So it's like... Oh, so it's back and forth. According to Jameson Hensley, though, this is what he had to say. When the Ravens visit the Bengals on Sunday, they will become the first team in the Super Bowl era to face an opponent three times in a four-game span, including the postseason per the NFL. And yeah, we played the Ravens week 18 last year. We also played the Ravens in the wild card, which is back-to-back -back weeks. And now we, of course, played them uh, this Sunday, which is going to be, of course, three out of four games we played the Baltimore Ravens. We didn't play week one, but we are going to be playing them here. And that's actually kind of crazy if you think about it. I mean, to play your not only an opponent that much, to play a divisional opponent that many times in such a small span, you know, they always make the joke like, oh, well, you know, when you're in the regular season, right? You're not going to show your opponent everything if you think you're going to play them in the playoffs, right? You're not going to show them everything you have in your arsenal if you're about to play them in the playoffs and, like, you already know in, like, you know, a month from now, right? So, there's always things you're going to hide for that playoff game, especially if you know you're making the playoffs. But there's nothing else to hide, really, if you think about it. Because we showed everything we had. We put all our cards on the table in the playoffs. Obviously, the Ravens have a new uh, offense coordinator in Todd Munkin. We're pretty much the same in buying Callahan and Ludini. So, we're on the table, the same team. But they're going to be a little bit different. But, you know, we show them everything we have. And this offense, for the most part, is exactly the same. Like, yes, we got better offensive linemen to protect Joe Burrow. But other than that, this offense is exactly identical to last two times we played them. So, it's going to be interesting to see, you know what look we give them because i'm sure even with all that being said with how good brian callahan is and again after one game last week playing bad doesn't dictate anything doesn't define him that's why i will say although yes i hated the play calling last week brian callahan is still an amazing offensive coordinator he is still one of the best in the game i don't care if he had one bad game we all have one bad game okay well i'm not in the nfl but if i was in the nfl i probably would have one bad game Maybe many. Probably a lot because, you know, your boy is um, Chunky the Pig over here. But on a real note, though, yeah, I'm, there was every single NFL player, you look back and you say they had a bad game. Tom Brady's had many bad games, right? So it's not, it is what it is. But well, other than that, though, I mean, we're, there's probably a look that we haven't given them that we're probably going to give them in this upcoming game. I mean, now the Browns did have Jim Schwartz, a new defense coordinator, but they gave us looks that we never saw in the past either. So, John Harbaugh said on playing the Bengals in a four, three times in a four-game span, there's a new level of familiarity uh, about playing us. And to be honest, he's not wrong, you know? It's one of those things where it's like, like I just said, it's like you see every single possible thing about this team. And now you got to go back out there and stop it yet again. And it's going to be difficult. Listen, this game's not going to be easy for either side. Obviously, yes, they have four players out. And, you know, the history of the Ravens at this point of recent memory pretty much is they can never stay healthy for any of their players. So, and that's not me taking a shot at them. That's just simply, I don't even know what's going on with them anymore. I really honestly now feel bad for them. Because I feel like at this point, you know, there's something going on there. The strength coaches clearly were a problem. They've all been fired. So why are they still having problems with injuries as much? I I don't know. But again, like I said, I never want to see injuries. I don't care who the opponent is. I don't care who we're playing. 
injuries I never ever want to see at all. But again, with all that being said, you know, yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. I'll definitely say that. Um, we have Ruler of the Jungle, obviously AJ Green for this game. You know, it's our first home game of the season, first game in front of Hude Nation. It's going to get fun, man. It's going to get fun, guys. So tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.